Looking for a beautiful modern family RV that is a bath and a half floor plan with huge kitchen appliances and washer dryer prep? You're gonna love this 2024 Eddie Bauer 34 BHS. All right, so let's start off here in the kitchen as I think this is one of the things that just absolutely pops the most in this RV. Uh, if you know Eddie Bauer, you're familiar with the brand, you will certainly recognize the green here. And they did it on the cabinets, on the lowers, and honestly, it works. It's gorgeous, especially with the champagne bronze poles that they have on here. Uh, it's a really nice color combination. I think they did an excellent job. As far as storage, I'll show you the storage down here real quick. You have great pots and pans storage underneath the sink. And then we have three full extension ball bearing drawers with the top one already being divided for your flatware. So that's going to be a huge win too. Kind of making our way up a little bit, we get to the countertop. It is a pressed countertop. That's gonna have a few advantages, especially in the RV world. The biggest one being the fact it's a lot lighter weight than a true solid surface and weight's always gonna be a concern. Uh, also, it is non-porous, so you don't have to worry about you know staining or anything like that. Uh, and the fact that it still gives you the advantage of being able to undermount your stainless steel sink here. And it is a large stainless steel sink with the high rise faucet. And I love this faucet. It is again, kind of bringing in a lot of those uh, modern, I guess, trends that we're starting to see in the residential side where you have two different metals. You have the matte black plus the champagne bronze, and it really just kind of pulls everything together. I think that uh, is really great. And then I, I guess kind of the icing on the cake here when we talk about some of the aesthetic in the kitchen is the backsplash. Folks, this is an actual tile backsplash. It, at this price point, in a conventionally built travel trailer, this is literally unheard of. Uh, you know, Most manufacturers are using a sticker, a panel at best. I love that they put in actual tile. It just kind of shows you this is Eddie Bauer. They're going to use some of those nicer components. And then as we kind of move up top here, you'll see they went with lighter uppers. And I think this was a good choice. I mean, not that it's closed in. I'm six foot tall. You can see I have plenty of ceiling height here. Uh, but the fact that with lighter uppers does just make the space feel that much brighter and more open. So I think that was a good choice. Good storage up there as well. Of course, right next to that is the microwave underneath the hood. And the hood, obviously, uh, being a function of the three burner cooktop. Now, it is recessed with the glass cover, so you get that extra prep space. But one of the other really cool things about the Eddie Bauer is right underneath, folks. This is an industry first. Take a look at that. That is an actual air fryer. It's not an oven. It's not a convection oven. It is an air fryer. And I think that's fantastic. I'm a huge fan of air fryers. You know, I got having all that air movement, the bigger fan definitely makes things a lot crispier, whether it's, you know, uh, vegetables or proteins. Air fryers do an excellent job. And honestly, I'm going to be a lot more apt to use that than I would a standard RV oven, which if you've ever had any experience with, you know, can definitely be a, a little tough to cook anything with. And then another thing, again, just absolutely unheard of at this price point, is you have a 16 cubic foot fridge freezer in here. Just massive amounts of cold storage. Love, love, love that. The kitchen in this thing is an absolute knockout. Uh, before we head back a little bit further, I do just want to kind of take a look at the ceiling and show a couple different things. One, the fact you have two rows of lights in here, so it is nice and bright. Again, you have the bright uppers, big ceiling, lots of windows, bright lights. Also, you'll see the AC here that is ducted, uh, has one AC standard, but it is prepped for a second. In case you plan on staying in some warmer climates, you can definitely get that second one. You'll also notice the dual ducting AC that is run all the way through to make sure that everything stays nice and cool. Now, as I promised, this one is a bath and a half floor plan, the half bath being right here. What do I love about this? The fact that you have a door. This is perfect. You can come in, you can use the restroom, you can head right back out. That is great during travel. And it's also great at the campground. So anyone that needs to use the bathroom can do so without trapes and dirt all the way through. You know what else I love? The fact that you have, I don't know if that's picking up on the microphone, probably not, but that's a porcelain bowl. That's not plastic. We talk about Eddie Bauer and some of the uh, nicer materials that they use. And again, they want to make sure they're putting in nice stuff. Love having the porcelain bowl. Good storage underneath the sink. Same pressed countertop, right? They didn't go to T-mold. They didn't try to you know, skimp here. I love that they still use a nice countertop and I like the single pole matte black faucet. I think that is a huge upgrade over some of like the four inch center ones we normally see. Uh, it just looks really nice. You have your mirrored medicine cabinet up top and you have an electrical outlet. What I want to point out here is the fact that 
uh, there are electrical outlets that are pre-wired for an inverter. So it's prepped for an inverter, it's prepped for solar. So if you want, you can get solar up on the roof. The solar controller is already built in. You can get that inverter, and now you have inverted outlets all the way throughout in case you're uh, someone who wants to do some boondocking. Also, right outside that half bath, we have some additional storage. Uh, you can use this for obviously for whatever you want. I personally probably use it for some pantry space because we don't have a pantry in the kitchen. And there's not really a need for a linen closet here in my opinion, simply because uh, we don't have a shower, so you're not gonna need a bunch of towels. But then as we step back into the bunk room, this is a quad bunk. So, you know, you're looking to sleep a lot of people. This one definitely does it. 275 pound weight capacity on the bunks here, uh, on the top bunks. This one does fold up and it's two position. So you can fold it up here or you can fold it up all the way, lock it in place right there. Um, I, honestly, I'm not sure why it's two position. I think I would just have it fold up there, but hey, th there it is. I guess you have some options. Uh, underneath is your uh trifle or sorry not trifold this is a jackknife sofa so it just folds up and down uh it's just like so doesn't make a huge bed probably not great for adults but it is going definitely going to work for a kiddo and then underneath great thing about a jackknife is all the storage you get plus you can see there is no carpet in here they use the uh marine grade woven flooring and then as we bop over across the way We'll see 275, again, pound weight capacity on this bunk, a little bit bigger. Um, it is a little bit harder to get into. You don't have a ladder of any sort, so you'll kind of have to put a foot here and jump up or uh, you know, buy a third-party ladder to be able to climb up there. Uh, but it is going to be a wider bunk, so better for uh, kiddos. Or if you're an adult like myself uh, and you need to, to crash, this is going to be the bed for you. As a Again, as a six-foot adult, just to show you, I can't completely stretch out, right? I'll have to curl up a little bit, but there is a lot of space. So if I want to be able to sleep on my back, I can do so. Um, and I don't have to climb anything, which at my age, that just sounds like I'm going to hurt myself. So if we take a look underneath, you got some storage. Nothing crazy, but that's because uh, we have an outside kitchen, which we'll uh, take a look at in a little bit. But again, you do get some additional storage. And as far as uh, windows, you have a window here as well as over on the other side. And if we take a look right up top, you will notice there is a spot to mount the TV. Uh, uh, so that way, you know, if you want to watch that TV, you can. Also on the other side, do want to point out there is a window above that bunk again, just to kind of help let in some of that natural light. So to make our way back out, we look at the main living area. So right over here is our dinette. Let me push this cushion back here. Uh, a couple things about the dinette. One that I really like is the fact that you have the name embroidered in here, right? Again, this is Eddie Bauer series. You want the, you know, it's it's a high end. You want that name brand. Same thing right up here, right on this plate. I love that they have the plate there. Um, you know, they went through a couple iterations. This is what they landed on. I think it is nice and classy. It looks good. But back to the the dinette. Something else that's very unique about this is if you look underneath, you will see it is completely open. And I think that was a great choice uh, for a couple of reasons. One, it looks a lot better. Uh, it just looks like it's a lot more open. Doesn't look as closed in. Also, it's easier to access those big items. You can get them from here. You can access them from there. And they're Velcroed. That's important so that we don't have to worry about your cushions sliding all over the place. But the other thing I wanted to show you is that if you do have some items you still want tucked away, you still have access. There's hinges. You have the finger hole here. And then you have that additional storage right there. So you kind of have like a couple lockers on either side. The light fixture I absolutely love. Uh, again, just kind of bringing in some of those elements. You have the lighter wood. You have the matte black. Um, I think that was a great choice on the lighting as well. Storage all the way across the top here. I am glad that they went with storage instead of a bigger window. That is a personal preference. Let me know what you think. Would you rather see a bigger window? Are you good with having the storage up here? I know that's kind of a, a point of contention among people. So let me know your thoughts there. Underneath is the jackknife sofa, just like we had in the back. Perfect storage underneath for blankets, pillows, whatever else you need. Plus dual USB port here in case you need to plug in a tablet. And of course, for entertainment, you want to watch TV. That's going to be a straight shot right across the way. Underneath that is your JBL sound system. So you have a great sound system, speakers both inside and out. Uh, they will be operated by here. You can see a couple different zones. Then underneath that is uh, our fireplace, which not only looks great, but is going to be a space heater as well. We move up to our, <coughs> excuse me, our primary bath here. And we can see once again, porcelain bowl at six foot. I have great leg room, pretty good shoulder space. You know, I'm touching a little bit on this side, but nothing that's going to bother me. Uh, same countertop, you have the upgraded pressed countertop, same faucet as before. You know, again, good storage underneath. I mean, obviously we have some components there, but we still have space for extra toilet paper plus a mirrored medicine cabinet up top. And if I step into the shower here, 
you can see that I have pretty good space. If it being six foot tall, you could probably be six foot one and not have to duck down here. But with that skylight, it could probably be six two, maybe even six three, and still be able to stand up in there without having to uh, crane my head. And then lastly, as we step up into the bedroom, I mean, it doesn't stop here, folks, right? Like the features just keep going and going and going. And here in the primary bedroom, you will see the 60 by 80 residential queen size bed. So if you're a tall person, I mean, I'll, I'll lay on here. We'll just do a face plant. I mean, you know, obviously I could, I could move up a little bit more, but my feet wouldn't hang off. I have them hanging off currently uh, simply because I'm wearing shoes. But I do like having that residential size bed. Storage across the top there as well. And that is in a slide out. And then... Right over here, kind of in the uh, the front cap, you get some additional storage, right? You get a big wardrobe. How often do you get that in a travel trailer? Not super often. So I love that they have that. You'll see some extra goodies here, such as a uh, sink top cover. You also have your air fryer trays in there. But again, great storage all the way throughout. And then take a look at this. How great is this? Something that is so rare to find in a travel trailer you have washer dryer prep. And if you don't want washer dryer, great. You have a big extra pantry. You can access that, or not pantry, <laughs> big extra wardrobe. You can access that from the outside too. I don't know, maybe it's a pantry. Maybe you snack a lot at night, who knows? Uh, dropping right down below, you do get some additional storage with the foot of the bed. And uh, last thing I wanna show you before we show you this uh, with slides in is the fact that if you want a TV in the bedroom, that's where it mounts. When this slide is in, what do we have access to? That is a great question. Well. You can see right here, you actually have a pretty decent walkway. It's not too terrible. I can sneak through here fairly easily, do a little dance. Uh, but I have full access to the refrigerator. That is a pretty big win for the floor plan. Love that. Refrigerator, freezer, not an issue at all. However, the bathroom's a whole other story. That is gonna be completely uh, closed off. So for any bathroom breaks, you will have to make a pit stop somewhere. As for the bedroom, if you need to pull over and take a nap, well, you can access the bedroom fairly easily as you can in most travel trailers. Just bear in mind, because it is in a slide, uh, the end of the bed does make contact with the dresser before the slide is all the way in. That is completely normal. You're just gonna wanna make sure you do bring that slide all the way in to prevent any kind of water intrusion during your travels. Let's take a look at some of the outside features on the 2024 Eddie Bauer 3HS BHS. Up front a power tongue jack, making it nice and easy to connect and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Directly behind that are your two 20-pound propane tanks with the cover. Rails here for your battery and the Vault 12-volt distribution box. So it can take all those wires, really simplify things, give you one easy access point, and make it much easier to connect to the battery. Uh, right above that is the diamond etch plating, helping protect that front end from rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. And above that is this smooth aluminum front, which is nice and easy to clean. Plus, it looks a lot nicer, especially when paired with the beautiful decal on front with the Eddie Bauer name. Coming around to this side, uh, I just kind of want to show again, kind of the, the graphics package they have on here. Super pretty. I love the green, especially when paired with the black and this silver here. We take a look at some of the storage. There's a lot of outside storage on pretty much every Eddie Bauer model. Uh, this one has magnetic catch like so. You can take a look right up front here and just be able to easily see that storage. Uh, a couple other things here too. You can see that you have a battery disconnect right here. Uh, your inverter prep is located here and it already comes with the solar charge controller because this one has the solar prep up on the roof. Power stabilizer jacks in the front and back. The front control operates the front too. And therefore, obviously, the back control operates the back too. Once again, magnetic catch. And again, look at all of the storage here on the campsite. I love, love, love all that additional storage. Coming back a little bit further is a power awning. This does cover both entrances on the uh, 3HS, BHS, and it has a, a LED light underneath. So if you want some light at night, you can just flip that bad boy on. For some additional entertainment, there are two outside speakers. Those are controlled by that multimedia center inside, but I honestly like that they mounted them low. Rather than being up high where they're gonna blast out at your neighbors, here I can sit down in a chair and it's gonna play right at my campsite exactly where I want it to be. Therefore, I don't have to have it as loud. Less chance to uh, you know anger any neighbors, especially if I'm playing really light music a little bit later at night. Getting into the RV is nice and simple. As I mentioned earlier, this one has two entrances and exits. Your primary entrance being right here. 
This one has the Moride Step Above Step System. A couple things I like about these steps. One, aluminum tread, so they're not gonna rust. This top tread is nice and wide too, so as soon as you step out, you have uh, really good balance. And honestly, your fur babies love these steps a lot more than the standard steps too, so that's gonna be a big plus. Plus with this version of the steps, instead of having pins, you just have a simple lever right here that you can push, and that will let you adjust the legs super easily. A huge improvement over the uh, original iteration of these steps. You also see the foldable grab handle so you have that extra control when entering the RV and you have a window in the door there to let in some added light. Uh, as you can see, this one has the extended season RVing. Not to say that I'd go camping in the middle of winter here, but if it's going to be spring, fall, it still does a pretty good job. Thanks to the fact this one has a fully enclosed, insulated, and heated underbelly. You'll also see outside TV hookup if you want TV out here. Secondary entrance is going to be right in the back. And as I mentioned earlier, this one goes right into the bathroom. So this is fantastic. Come in, do your business, head right back out without traipsing dirt throughout the entire RV. And it just wouldn't be complete without an outside kitchen. So I love this outside kitchen. Uh, it's, it's like the perfect size, right? You get your kind of small little refrigerator right over here. You still have some sink access. This does pull out. So you have water access here, storage there as well, plus the griddle. So if you want to do some cooking, you actually have the capability to do that. You have a spot to store it as well. Propane quick connects right underneath. Now bear in mind, if you have, already have like a Blackstone uh, griddle or if you have like a Coleman grill, something that you would love to bring with you, you love to cook on it, you can always bring that too. As we saw up front, there's plenty of storage. You can just hook it up right back here with that same propane quick connect and you'll be good to go. Coming around to the back here, let me move my water. You can see the square tubular bumper with an end cap gives you a great spot in which you can slide in that sewer hose. You can, <laughs> I'll pick it up, Aaron, I'll pick it up. You will also see right over here the uh, the spare tire. Now that is going to mount to that square tubular bumper, uh, and this is super easy access there. If we jump up to up top here, we have a couple different preps. You can see the rear ladder prep. So uh, Lippert actually has an extendable ladder, a telescoping ladder that you can use to mount to that. That way you can climb up onto the fully walkable roof here on this Eddie Bauer. And then you'll also see the prep for a backup camera. It's a pretty decent sized RV. Might not be a bad idea to move forward and have that camera installed. And the prep does make it a lot easier, therefore less expensive to do so. Hookups, you can see all the hookups here. So, I mean, we have everything we need, spray port, water inlets, satellite, cable, black tank flush, uh, 50 amp detachable power cord will go there. Underneath are your terminations. So you have a few of them. You're gonna have one up here and then two more will be located right up front. Last thing I wanna hit on is this uh, exterior storage. And again, we saw this when we were inside. This is that washer dryer prep. So if you choose not to have a washer dryer in here, you can use this as storage. If you do decide to have the washer dryer, you can just keep that one locked. Again, folks, this is an absolutely amazing RV, especially for the price point. If you're looking for a great bunk bottle that is beautiful, has plenty of storage inside and out, and again, just very modern look and appeal to it, this is exactly what you're looking for. Now, if you're wondering, Ian, where can I find one and how much is it? Uh, it's pretty simple. There'll be a link in the description. Simply click on that and it will actually give you the one that is closest to you as well as the price for it. As always, folks, thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker and until next time, we'll see you.